Hey guys, I'm Clint Flair Wu, and welcome back to another Division 2 build video. It's been a week, so I thought it was time to give you a little bit of content, a little bit of a build to work on, and yes, it's Monday. Tomorrow is title update free update. Um, I'm quite excited for it. I'm quite excited to see the changes in the patch notes, which are going to be tomorrow. Um, there's, there's a lot going on, and I can't wait to delve deep into the new update. Uh, but today I wanted to bring you a build that won't be affected by this update whatsoever. This is something that's completely off meta. I've been rolling with this for the last couple of days in the dark zone and I've had an immense amount of fun with this build. Took players down, took NPCs down easily because of the talents and how they synergize with the build. Enough of me talking, let's take a look. And here we have it. First and foremost, I'm rolling with the Survivalist Specialization. Uh, this is my own personal preference. You may get a little bit more from the Demolitionist. However, I'm an AR guy and I enjoy rolling with this specialization. It works well for me in the Dark Zone. However, as I said, if you want to roll with it with the Demolitionist, go for it and let me know how you, how you get on. But this is the one. This is my burn and Deal some insane weapon damage build. Okay, we'll start with the mask. The mask is ongoing directive. And what does that do for me in the build? That gives me weapon handling at 20%, uh, some burn damage at 25%, which is integral to the build. In terms of the attributes, skill power, critic chance, and the mods, skill power with increased confused duration and burn damage, which is again integral because I want to stack as much burn damage as possible. And the chest piece, again, it's ongoing directive. And as I've said, weapon handling, burn damage, because I'm rolling with the free piece. Uh, the main attributes are skill power, bonus armor, headshot, kill XP. Again, I want to get them proficiency caches. And in terms of the mods, they are two utility mods. Skill power, increased disrupt duration, 3.5% burn damage. So I've got 25% already, 4% uh, on the mask, and 3.5% here. That gives me an extra 7.5%, so 32.5% burn damage. Nice. Utility mod slot second is uh, skill power, increased shock duration, and increased kill XP. Defensive system mod slot, bonus armor, explosive resistance, and total armor. Now the holster. It's a Richter and Kaiser holster, which is hazard protection, a sexy amount of critic chance, 11.5%, uh, critical, which gives me 8% critic damage, and the mod is weapon damage, optimal range, and critical range. And the third ongoing directive piece, I've got skill power of 395, and the mods, it's a skill power, drone skill power, and chem launcher skill power as well. And weapon damage, headshot damage, and optimal range on the offensive protocol mod slot. And the gloves, the Alp Summit Armament, uh, cooldown reduction, and 11% assault rifle damage, which is amazing and wicked. It is wicked, in all honesty. That gives me 10% weapon damage to status affected enemies. The offensive protocol mod slot, 2.5% weapon damage, and 2% optimal range. And finally, the backpack, it's the Wyvern Wear, which gives me critic damage, skill power, bonus armor, critic chance. On the ropes, weapon damage increased by 25% while all skills are on cooldown. And hazard protection, it's nice to have the hazard protection in the dark zone due to NPC spamming nades consistently. And the utility system mod slot, uh, skill power, drone skill power, and firefly skill power. Now this is... The gear exactly how I want it, and it works very, very well. There's quite a bit of critic chance and crit damage on the build. A nice amount of weapon damage, especially with uh, the gloves. That, and uh, I've got 11% assault rifle damage, 10% wicked. Wicked is really strong. You've seen the footage. I'm rolling with the chem launcher, uh, fire starter. I have an immense amount of, of ammo that gives me the chance to spam and spam and spam. Gas clouds that give me a lot of fire. And then as soon as that's on cooldown, and then I've got my drone on cooldown, that gives me 25% weapon damage, which is awesome. Weapons. We'll start with the primary weapon. Uh, in my opinion, the best AR in the game, the military P416. Ignited. It has to be ignited as your first talent. 
because of that you deal 20 percent weapon damage to burning enemies insane it really is insane and it works allegro 10 percent right fire again key to the build because that gives me that extra little bit of uh R rof which is needed on this build stop drop and roll again perfect for me while equipped rolling removes burning bleed and poison states effects can occur once every 60 seconds and in terms of mods it's accuracy rounds critic chance and damage to elites the secondary again is an ar and it's the military g36 uh perpetuation kills grant plus five percent skill duration ammo and charges the next skill used max stack is 10 allegro so extra rate of fire again and rooted awesome talent while equipped and in cover, all skill damage and healing is increased by 25% for 10 seconds. Buff is lost next in cover, can occur once every 25 seconds. So with this, again, again, we big be, be players you're fighting, you switch to your, your military G36, you're popping that awesome fire starter that you have equipped. Um, you will have that really nice extra 25% buff. Really good. Um, it's a, a excellent talent to use on a skill build and works very well with this build okay someone will ask about the sidearm i don't use a sidearm at all but here we go uh, protected reload extra and steady handed okay we'll take a look at the stats then we'll go through the skills the stats you've seen all the weapon talents and gear talents uh, let's look at the nitty gritty weapon damage 14443 a healthy 28% critter chance on AR which is nice given I've got 10 utility stats 40% critter damage 56% headshot damage a good range of 26 meters weapon handling 20% all weapon damage bonus 6% assault rifle damage 26% only a little bit of damage to elites but you don't need it you are spamming fire you will absolutely murk NPCs with this build and there's my defensive stats, some nice hazard protection, which again, every little helps in the dark zone. Skill cooldown reduction, that is enough for me on this build, because I want on the ropes to be active as often as possible. So 10% skill cooldown reduction is perfect. You don't invest any more into cooldown reduction because you want that extra 25% uh, weapon damage from on the ropes. Okay, then we take a look at the skills. The drone is going to give me 15,017 uh, uh, healing points, cooldown reduction, armor repair, and duration. As you can see, none of them are red, so they are all active. And then we take a look at the chem launcher, and that is giving me nine ammo, which is three and a four, and a, a cooldown of 27 seconds. We know there won't be 27, that's more for some also 13, 14 seconds. And whilst that's happening, on the ropes is active if my drone is on cooldown which is great okay guys this is the build i've had so much fun rolling this build seven offensive three defensive ten utility uh it works really well against players uh, very well against npcs there is as you've seen no damage to elites well five percent five percent damage to elites and it wrecks them it really does um it's all about the burn the burn and the weapon damage from the military p416 uh, you add all these uh, additive bonuses up you will deal some insane damage on this build um, pvp ve is really really good okay guys hope you enjoyed this video if you have drop a like you want to see more division 2 content you know what to do smash the sub button and i'll catch you in the next one take it easy